Hey everyone, welcome to this new Lens Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a Kira Kira or Bling Lens using Lens Studio. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you stay updated when I upload a new video. Let's jump right into the tutorial. So let's first start by deleting the camera and the lighting. We also don't need the lighting texture so these can be deleted too. You can just drag and drop your grid texture, the edge detection material which can be found in, in the Discord server and your Bling texture. As you can see the Bling texture has a black background and is a square image. And also the grid texture has a black background and this is the size I'm using. So now let's create a graph empty material and rename this to Kira Kira. Now let's add a few screen images. You can duplicate this one and rename the first one to edge detection. And you can rename the second one to Kira Kira. Click on the edge detection one and drag and drop the edge detection material right there and change the stretch mode to stretch. Then click on the Kira Kira one, drag it right there, change the blend mode to normal and put it on stretch also. Now double click on the Kira Kira material and the material editor pops up. We're going to work with this material editor to create our Kira Kira effect. The first couple notes that we are going to add is the camera aspect note which will get the aspect ratio of the camera. Next, we will be adding the integer parameter and an integer is basically a whole number which can be positive or negative but also zero is an integer. You can rename the integer parameter to grid amount. Now we need to divide these values by adding a divide node. We also need to add a round node and the round node rounds the value to the nearest whole number. And most importantly we have to add the construct vector node. Make sure to disable these values right here so we have a vector 2, the x and y value. And basically the, what the construct vector node does is combining two input values into one output value and then connect everything like this. Let's continue by adding the pixelized chords node. This is used to create a pixelization effect. You can connect it like this. We also need a screen UV node and this node basically just returns the screen coordinates and connect it like this. Let's add one more node, the scatter chords node. And it's very important that we change the center values to zero. Just click on the node and change this value to zero. Add four 2D parameters to your scene. You can just copy them and make sure to rename um, this one to device texture. And this one to render target and also change the UV chords to custom. Change this one to single texture and also change the UV chords to custom and change this one to grid texture. Let's make some more space right here. Now add some multiply nodes. Make sure to change the channels to RGBA and you can copy and paste this node very easily. You also have to add a blend node and change the blend mode to add. And you can connect these two already together. And this one like so. You can connect these two to the UV cords right here. And these two you can connect to the multiply one. If you click on your Kira Kira material, the graph parameters show up and just select your device camera texture, your render target and your blink texture. Nothing is showing up because we have to change the grid amount value right here. And if we change that, there you can see that the blink, the Kira Kira shows up. Then you can go to this multiply node right here, click on this white thing and there you can change the color of your blink texture. So that's basically it, but we are going to add a little bit more customization to our lens. We are going to add some parameters so we can choose between if you want to use a single texture or if you want to use a grid texture. And we are also adding some more color customization so you can choose between a rainbow color or just one color. We have to unlink this real quick and we basically want our 2D parameters 
to go into this A multiply input. And let's add a drop list parameter and change the count to two. We also need to rename these two to single texture and call this one grid texture. Let's add a switch node. Also change the count to two and I'll link everything together like this. And now it's very important to change the default values to one. And after you've done that, you can link it to the A input. Here you got the graph parameters. You can rename this also to select texture. And now you can change between a single texture or a grid texture. So we currently have it on single texture, but let's uh, change it to a grid texture and click on this and select your grid texture. And as you can see, it doesn't look that good yet because we have to change the grid amount to 18. And let me explain to you how this exactly works. You can create your grid texture in Photoshop or any other photo editing software. It has to look exactly like this with no cutouts or half of the particle missing. Make sure that you use this sizing and the black background or the effect will not work correctly. If you look at the first row of this grid texture from the left to the right, you will see that I used 18 single blink textures. You need to change the grid amount value to this number which is 18 in my case. You can just use one blink texture also, this will save you a lot of time creating a grid texture and it will save you some space. In this tutorial I gave you the option to do both. Let's work on our color selector, so you can add a drop list parameter and the first one will be no color so that it will stay white. The second one will be one color and the last one we can rename that to rainbow. Then add a switch again, link these two together and change the default value to 1 and this also to 1. First we are going to add our color parameter and we are going to link that to the one color input, the, this one right here. Add a flow parameter and rename this to speed control. And then add a elapsed time node and link these two together. Add a swizzle node and also link these two together. And change the value to X. Add a mixer node. First change these to X and change the value to 1. This one to X, keep it on 1 and change this to RGBA. And this has to be changed to B. Then link it to the B input value. Then you have to add a HS feed to RGB node and link everything together. It should look like this. Then link it to the multiply node. We can rename the custom drop list to select color by just clicking on the node and changing the title right here. Currently it's on no color, but we can change it to one color and there we can change the color itself. We can also change it to rainbow color, make sure that you change the speed control to 1. And you can also change it to, I don't know, 2 or 5. And that will give you the rainbow color. I will now show you how you can customize it even more by changing some of the values and parameters to make it look like how you want it. Let's add some randomized rainbow color. You can find this material also in the Discord server. Just duplicate your screen image, call this rainbow. And these are the settings that I'm using. And just drag and drop that right here. And as you can see, we now have a randomized rainbow color. Let's say we want to add more or less blink to our lens. Just click on the QQ material, make sure that you have single texture selected right here. Just change the grid amount to whatever you want. If you put it lower, there will be less bling, and if you put it higher, there will be more bling. By clicking on your edge detection material, you have this slider right here, this outline exponent slider, and if you change that, as you can see, the strength will change of the edge detection. And by combining this with the values of the Kira Kira, that will really help you to control this effect even more, just the way you want it. Mm. 
And that's how you create the famous Kira Kira or Bling Lens. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or tutorial suggestions. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you stay updated when I upload a new video. And I will see you later.